Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Chelsea. I collect cute things, I make cute things, I sell cute things. I just really, really like cute things. In today's video, I'm gonna be making a charm display board because I bought this cork board from Hobbycraft the other day. Can you see it? I stood here so that I could show you this. Um, it is this big, so quite big. Um, and I thought that this would be perfect to make a charm display board. So my idea is to paint it, hook my charms on that using some like pins and stuff. I do have like this little pack of pins in here. and I do intend to buy some like nice clear ones to put on here for the aesthetic. But yeah, really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Hopefully I'm going to put it over there above my printer. I think it's the perfect size. So if you didn't know, I do make a lot of polymer clay charms, which I just really want to be able to display in a more inventive way. And I thought that this way I could turn it almost into like a piece of wall art um, and decorate that little plain space over there at the same time. So yeah, I'm just going to get straight on into decorating this cork board. So the first thing I wanted to do was place circles onto my cork board and in order to do that I thought I'd make myself a stencil. So with my Cricut Maker I actually just went onto the Cricut Design Space, popped on some circles just using that software and then I just cut out some circles onto a nice piece of card. This is just the pearlescent card from actual Cricut actually. Um, the Cricut was gifted to me as I always mention in my videos I want to be full, fully transparent but this is a great tool if you want to get those perfect circles so when I made the stencil I just drew around the circles on straight onto my cork board I then decided to paint the whole thing and I went for a pink to begin with a pastel pink color then I decided I didn't like it and actually repainted the whole entire thing in a pastel yellow which I am much happy with this took me so long to get this pink shade nice and opaque because I did three layers but I just coated over it with a light kind of yellow colour because I just thought that suited it better. So in order to use the stencil I just used a paintbrush and just kind of brushed like kind of inwards over the card so that none of the paint would go underneath and then when I lifted it I had the perfect circles. So it's now quite a few days later, I won't lie to you. Um, I have the pin board kind of done. I think I'm just going to go with a really simplistic kind of finish. I painted it pink to begin with, really didn't like it. I thought it looked too much. So I went with this like pale yellow shade and I really, really like it. The circle trick with the Cricut worked so well. Like all of my circles are so even and so cute on there, ready for the pins to be placed. The only trouble is I lost the little packet that came with it like the little pack of pins with the little kind of you know screwing things and I don't want to command strip this to my wall so I'm thinking I might have to get the staple gun out and staple gun some like string or something to the top so that I can hang it up so my idea is to have obviously string coming from both sides and then hang it right here in that gap I think that will fit perfectly in between like my display unit and then my printer down here I think that will be adorable to have all my charms on it so I'm thinking I want bakery charms on it like actual like bakery colored um theme charms because I have been making some I've been really practicing my technique really happy with the way that I've got them so far here's a little sneak peek of one I've been working on at the moment it is just like this little kind of like set of rolls almost like bread rolls with the little pig face on, I really, really like that. So in order to attach the charms to the display board, I actually bought the set of pins, which were from Tesco, and it just came like in this set here. I originally just wanted these clear pins, but I just used one of these like gold ball pins to actually attach the board up there. I think it looks really cute. Only time will tell if it stays there, but um, yeah. It's not that heavy anyway, I think it should just be fine. So I thought that the gold kind of accents of these clear pens would work really, really well with the bakery coloured. Also, they have like gold hardware and everything, and I think that's just going to look really nice. I don't have loads and loads of charms to fill it up just yet, but I'm going to pin some on it and see how it looks for now. And then when I make some more charms and get my practice in, I'm going to have loads to add. I'm so excited to do it. So yeah, I'm going to go do this. But this is how the charm board is looking. Obviously got all the circles on there with the three kind of bakery charms that I have. I can obviously add all different colored ones, but at the moment I'm just gonna add the bakery themed ones in a line and then see how I go from there. I'm thinking about maybe adding on the kind of pig's bakery pins when they come in. I think that would be really fun because obviously they're gonna be able to poke through there. Um, I don't know yet whether this is just gonna be for my charms or 
also the bakery pins so that is the end of today's video i hope you have enjoyed it thank you so much for joining me today if you did like this video and like how my charm display board turned out then please do give this video a thumbs up and i will see you possibly tomorrow for another video thanks so much for joining me and i'll see you then bye